Florida Gators uh, put on a, I'll say, a great first half, were lackluster in the second half, but either way, they get a big, desperate, but big uh, victory tonight against the UCF Knights, the Central Florida Knights, Florida's little brother, all those UCF fans that were talking so much smack in the offseason, that were talking smack leading up to this game that said that they were going to take over the Swamp, none of which happened. Florida did a very great job in the first quarter, in the first half, excuse me, They the first drive of the game, Florida drove down the ball, down um, UCF's throats, taking off over over half of the first quarter, scoring a touchdown to go up 7 to nothing. The run game was flowing. Graham Mertz was efficient, moving the ball up uh, up and down the field. Uh, UCF uh, responded with a, a field goal with a long drive, and that would be a theme of the game for, UC, for the UCF um, faithful. Florida uh, defense did a good job of putting pressure on K.J. Jefferson, slowing down the run game in the first half. Florida would... Um, Capital capitalized on the uh, on a fourth down stop that the defense got to go up fourteen to three as they would drive down the field and Graham Mertz would uh, uh lead a touchdown I believe it was Montreal Johnson who scored the um no he scored the third touchdown excuse me the second touchdown of the game went to um I believe it I, it, I believe it was uh it was the ball was ran in by one of the by uh yeah I, you know what maybe it was Montreal Johnson that scored that second time but anyways the fact is Florida wins this game Florida dominated in the first half they were they went up 24 to 3 could have been 21 28 to 3 in my opinion because they were a little bit conservative conservative at the end you know they have the ball in UCF's red zone up 21 to 3 what a time I remaining and 20 seconds left instead of throwing it at the ball they call up a quarterback draw which didn't make any sense to me but they did manage to get a field goal towards the end UCF in the second half did some of the worst clock management I have ever seen in a football game they take more than half of the third quarter off the off the clock with a eight minute eight and a half minute drive and they only get a field goal out of it I don't know what Gus Malzone and his offense coordinator were thinking in the second half, but they just kept getting these long drives, getting these long drives over and over and over again. And Florida, uh, excuse me, Florida wouldn't uh, defense would bend, but they didn't break. They eventually did give up a touchdown late in the fourth quarter, and with the over five minutes remaining, so you kind of wonder, uh oh, is Florida gonna, you know, is Florida gonna? you know, give up a, a, a win here after dominating for majority of the game. So, but they were able to hold on and maintain the victory. So this uh, victory was for Florida is very similar to the Tennessee victory. Not doesn't mean as much because it's Tennessee compared to UCF, but it did mean a lot for the Florida Gators to win this game. The players wise, a lot of um, South Floridian kids are on both Florida. Uh, both Florida and UCF, the fans uh, are so into were so into this game. You had a, a pretty noticeable UCF chant, uh, or at least the fans are doing uh, for UCF were doing a pretty uh, loud chant in the game, but not as loud as the Swamp, of course. Uh, I wonder if those idiot uh, UCF fans that said Florida, uh, you, their fan base was going to take over the Swamp. I wonder how well that worked out for them. Uh, newsflash, it didn't. But this game was kind of reminiscent of Tennessee last year in terms of performance. Great first half, very lackluster in the second half. Look, uh, this is a big win for Billy Napier. I'm not going to rip him too much. Uh, he really needed this victory more than anything. And he can at least he can say, well, I may have lost to certain teams that I probably should not have lost to, but at least I can say I didn't lose to UCF. But he's got to do a better job of playing uh, playing second half uh, football or coaching second half football when his team has a big lead at the first half because it's not his first time. He did it with um, he he did it with South Carolina last uh, in 2022. Florida did not play as well in the second half as they did in the first half of that game. Tennessee, Florida was mainly lackluster in the second half, but they did get a field goal at the very least um, in the game against Tennessee last year. This game, they didn't score any points whatsoever in the um, in the second half. They could have had a field goal made, um, a 52-yard field goal made by Trey Smack, but he missed it wide to the wide to the left. He had plenty of leg, just couldn't get it in between the uh, the uprights. But either way, uh, it's still a good victory for the Gator team. Uh, Pop Howard got a sack on the quarterback. The defensive line penetrated and got good pressure on KJ Jefferson. They get revenge for KJ Jefferson being on the Arkansas team that beat them last year. You had uh, 
Bryce Thornton get an interception late in the game. It was the only turnover of the entire game. Jason Mosser Jr. has been playing very great man coverage throughout this entire season. It's just sadly <laughs> the way Florida's season has gone. He doesn't. He's not going to get the recognition he deserves. But he's playing great. He. It's a complete 180 from the Jason Marshall that you saw uh, last year and maybe even the year before that. He is putting on some fantastic uh, footage this year. Uh, the run, uh, the run game for Florida was pretty solid. They didn't have uh, K uh, KD Daniels and Trey Webb, but it was still pretty good for the most part. Montreal Johnson did what Marshall Johnson does, give solid production. Jacoby Jackson for Florida had a nice day today. Uh, J.M. Ball got some reps in. So, And, of course, you had the utilization of both Graham Mertz and D.J. Lagway scrambling or, in some cases, having quarterback design runs. Uh, the freshman wide receiver, Tank Hawkins, I was a fan of his the moment he uh, signed with Florida uh, in early signing day. If you go back to a video that I did where I was talking about freshmen that I think could have a really good impact on on the Florida team, he was um, one of those guys. It was him. It was LJ McCray, of course. It was Katie Daniels or Kanan Daniels, whichever we want to go with. It was Miles Graham. Uh, speaking of the uh, freshman linebackers, both Aaron Charles, um, uh, Aaron Charles, he got uh, got some reps in today. That dude definitely might be a starter for Florida next year. And it seems like the Bill Na uh, the Napier staff uh, got that one right. As much criticism as I give Billy Napier, uh, I will say his staff is pretty good at evaluating talent, and I think he did a damn good job in selecting Aaron Childs. That guy is a stud and is going to be a player. Uh, to me, I would say Pop Howard and Shamar James have also elevated this defense with the way they're flying around and making tackles. Uh, both, uh, both in blitzing and behind the line of scrimmage and stopping the run. Caleb Banks and Cam Jackson were terrorizing the middle of UCF's offensive line. It was just it was just a very good day. Also, the those crazy blitzes that Florida likes to run, they this time they were getting home. And not only were they getting home and getting sacks, but even on plays that they weren't getting sacks, they were absolutely affecting KJ Jefferson, making him throw the ball inaccurately. They were making him uh scramble and hold on to the ball too long. They were keeping him from getting out of rhythm. It was a very good day by the Florida uh defense. Even though they gave up some points in the second half, I don't think they were playing. I don't think they played bad throughout this entire game. To me, it's the Florida offense, in my opinion, that kind of kept uh, UCF in this game because they took their foot off the uh, f took their foot off the gas here. And I know some people are going to give Trey Smack uh, a little bit of um, a little bit of flack for the missed field goal, but that didn't really. Um, that to me wasn't a backbreak of that field goal because at least you took some minutes off the took some minutes off the clock. And this is a kind of victory that you need, not just for Billy Napier, but for recruiting wise. Because if Florida would have lost to UCF, it would have been so difficult for recruits to look at that Florida team and like, man, y'all can't even beat UCF. Why should we go? Why not just go to uh or Orlando instead of Gainesville? Orlando is only a couple hours down south from Gainesville anyway. But this is a big win momentum wise for Florida. Now they're gonna go on the road at Tennessee next week, who at the moment moment is in a almost in a damn almost in a life and death struggle right now with the Arkansas Razorbacks so I'm going to tune in to see how that game's going to end but overall good win for Florida good win for Billy Napier uh these guys played their butts off tonight and I just got to tip my hat towards the um towards the Gator football team. I did not think Florida was going to beat UCF before the season started, but I'm happy to be wrong. As a Gator fan, I may criticize player and coaches, but I love seeing the team, you know, get victories when they can. So all in all, 24-13, Gators victory over UCF. Go Gators.